Hello everyone and welcome to a new review for Farthest Frontier uh, for the update 0.9.0 um, and I haven't played for a few months uh, some things have been added and uh, I'm gonna give them a try apart from like obviously a few things being added like some content I feel like um, the game also improved a bit the performance is a bit better although after we get like to the population I have right now, 450 plus, it does get to be janky, but I feel like it's way better than how it was in the beginning. I don't know yet how it looks on the recording. I want to be surprised. Hopefully it looks better because last time the problem was it looked okay while playing, but recording looked weird. Anyway, let's start getting... Uh, actually, no, let's just uh, say blah, blah, blah. Disclaimer just like feel free to correct me with anything feel free to share your opinion it's like a very casual review just as you discuss it with a mate um, so let's see would i recommend the game mm, yes still uh, maybe even more when it's full but you know if this is your type of game if you enjoy these games i feel like there's some maybe other better competitors there in my opinion like i mentioned last time banished um but uh, sure i wouldn't say i i, I forget how much it costs uh, uh but yeah i would recommend buying it if you really like this genre and you're pleased with the aesthetics from what you've seen online and all that so now that that's out of the way let's um Let's talk a bit about uh, my experience with this playthrough because I had to go through one from the beginning because some things like uh, infinite uh, mines, deep mines, how they call them here, obviously wouldn't be added only on a, on a new map. And I played it like mostly just like the first times. I didn't try to min max. Obviously, I had some experience on how to place things and all that, but uh, still. Uh, some of the problems that I had back then with the game remain. Some maybe it's just a skill issue. I don't know. Again, just my opinion. So, but before we get into those things, let's um, let's get into some of the um, content updates for uh, the versions that uh, came after I played last time. So, one major update, and which is really cool, because it just you don't have to worry about if it's not your thing going after like finite iron ores uh, mines and all that so a thing that you only unlock at um, the latest uh, year which is quite a bit to get there especially if you're just casually playing and role playing and not being maxing i didn't try to speed run to see how fast i can get there but uh yeah so you get a deep mine for everything um which again, it, it, uh, they're slower than the normal ones, but you can assign more people, and uh, which I guess is a downside because I'm not sure it doesn't specify if you keep it full that it would be as fast as a normal one, but with less workers. Anyway, you get it for all the resources, you get that, so you don't have to worry about changing camps every now and again. And, uh, and if you're close to a mountain or something, anyway. You just know your stuff's gonna come from one spot. You can optimize delivery from there. It's really nice. And yeah, I think it's a service. So, you know, in late game, when you have to manage food, positioning, get the max from desirability and all and entertainment, you have, you want to like forget about this. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, a, a very welcome addition and uh, really appreciated. Another thing with the new update is the book bind are the book binder and the paper mill. Paper mill makes papers, which then get turned into books. And where do you use those books, you might ask? Well, you can use them firstly in a guild hall and then in a library. What do those things do? I'm gonna start with the library because obviously it's simpler to say. Uh, oops. So the library generates entertainment and i think it also uh, generates uh, maybe let's see 
desirability perhaps um so yeah that really does uh i think it needs books too and uh, it just provides entertainment yeah i think that's why it can and i read something interesting online um somebody was complaining about how the books get consumed they're like they're just books do they get consumed so fast so you need like new ones every time like maybe in today's day you need like new books and all that but i doubt back in the day they wanted the newest books they were looking forward to especially such a small village i don't know um the point i'm trying to make is that it's weird that the books disappear so fast and also like you have a huge population so if you get one of those books one person needs to read it and then it needs to go through all of the hands of the uh, uh, your civilians your uh, people so and only then you'll be like everyone in the village read it yeah we can count it as that we can burn it and yeah no new villagers will want to read it so it counts as that um, anyway too much rambling around that and the other one is the guild hall which again uses I, I guess it can also use the papers not only the books but yeah and then you select one of those bonuses which is you know kind of lackluster a bit I would say uh, the village is being raided uh, okay I'm gonna skip over this um, I'm gonna do what I always do it wasn't so bad I don't know so yeah, I'll continue to this. So you you have all these things, and the more people you put here, the better the bonus gets. Which is cool, but it's like, yeah, 40% bonus to production. No special effects, no nothing. I don't know. It, I, it's a bit too simple for my liking. Uh, well, let me finish with this raid, and I'll get back uh, to the other major feature added uh, since the last updates. Okay, so we're back, raided, fended off successfully, not too big of a deal. So, okay, another thing that was added was spirituality, which, again, right now, is a bit lackluster. What you do in the beginning, you just build the shrines that you would normally build for, which transform into an altar, which you would normally build for desirability. And I guess now you have one person being higher there. That's it for some chunk of the game. I mean... Not that big of a chunk of the game, because you unlock it at tier 2. Although it's a bit cost. Mm, maybe not. But yeah, after that, it does get a bit better. Doing. Because you can build the temple. Uh, I haven't upgraded it, I'm not sure. I think you can get more relics. Anyway. Yeah, you get those relics, and you can see what they each do. And here, the active one, and available, and yada yada. And... That's kind of it. You hire two people, desirability, some bonuses. I don't know. It's just, it's just another need that doesn't add that much. It's just, you need to feel a need that it's super easy to satisfy for the longest part of the game. I only needed to add one temple. Now I have a temple there and I think one around here and this, and that's it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It would be nice if in the future they had, like, decisions to influence the population. Maybe they want something closer. I don't know. I feel like it could be expanded upon, but uh, there's not much to say about it now. You just buy those relics from traders, or you can find them in uh, random generated uh, places like this. Excavated ruin. Uh, and I read that from raiders. I don't know how raiders drop them, but yeah, they're not that expensive. Most of them, let's see if the guy has... Yeah, most most of them are, depending on how good they are. The most expensive one was like uh, 5k. It's all right. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I feel like the after a few months, the experience was a bit better maybe also because i understood the game a bit better although i forgot most of the things there's still like things i don't like like for example i don't know if i got unlucky but if you see this mountain here it was like it had like 
seven or eight wolf dens and it was very annoying especially in early game because they wander a lot and they would just keep killing my villages and in the end i had to like go and destroy them like and i lost a lot of villagers and it was stupid and around this mountain too i don't know if just because this map has little mount only like a few mountains and those things spawn around mountains like the wolf dance but yeah it was super annoying i don't know if they changed it i i don't remember it happening last time uh another one false advertising in the uh, game screen or the loading screen towers do not block um uh, do not count as a block in the wall so i had to go around them like this because otherwise raiders would just walk by it so and another thing that i still don't like is how little you can tell the difference between buildings like i don't know the color palette is not set right or something but if you like yeah obviously some you can uh, you can differentiate like a soap maker from a Fletcher building or something, but they all just look so bland. So here they're a bit separated, but I had the more crowded like district for stuff. And I, I was looking for a Fletcher and I was like, is this the Fletcher? Maybe this one, but no, is this the Fletcher cobbler shop? Yeah, maybe that could be an improvement. Uh, it was just an example, but yeah, so major stuff. Um, uh, also another thing you can auto refill like this and labors will get assigned and to the max and you get everything um, you don't have to manually adjust like filling back um, workers for their specific roles so religion the books mm, the deep minds and that's kind of it. Uh, I roughly read through the plans for the full release and it looked nice. But again, my my problem is I feel like this game could use a bit more personality, a better color palette and the music. The music does get annoying and it does. It's not memorable, it's not special. Battle Brothers had great music. Uh, Rim World again, you know, I'm a big fan. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna improve it after 1.0 till 1.0, but also, oh, and the performance is a bit better, I think I mentioned, but yeah, um, I don't get random um, freezes that like I would wake up on the other, it would freeze while I was going towards another region and for a few seconds and then i would wake up here from the town center so i haven't gotten that or maybe i have gotten it a couple of times but that's that's it so they're obviously working towards it they're working to improve it and that's why i still recommend it it feels like they care about the game i haven't followed it thoroughly but so far so good the updates look nice so yeah um i hope you enjoyed my review and um i'll see you in the next one